Can you hear me now? Yay, all right. I can get a job with Verizon. <laughs> Praise God. Well, yeah, you know, we really do have to pray for our enemies because God loves all of his creatures. You know, Everyone can be saved if they make the right choices. Praise God. Well, thanks for everybody for faithfully attending service, whether in person or online. The Bible says not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, so I hope everyone listening online who has the power to make it to church will let God's perfect love cast out all fear of the biological weapon we call COVID and any other thing that you might be fearing or worrying about or concerned with because peace, God's perfect peace, we're going to show you how to achieve that tonight. You know, they're going to try to afflict us and persecute us, but it's never going to keep us from reaching our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a day-to-day, moment-to-moment battle to get to Him. The devil won't stop trying to steal you away from Jesus until you finish your fight, win the race, and drink the cup He has given you to drink just as He did. And so the best news is that Jesus will never stop loving and cherishing you and keeping every single one of his promises to you and to everybody that follows him. So, so it's called peace be with you. you know, that's what the world says. And you know, they've got their own symbol for peace, right? But hey, that's the whole sermon right there. We can go home. Praise God. <laughs> that's his signature, folks. You know? And some people forge that signature. But I believe, you know, that's his signature of approval. You know, when you're living for him, when you're saying what he wants you to say, when you're doing what he wants you to do, you've got his signature of approval. So, praise God. He waits on us. You know, and he says, my peace I give unto you. The world says, peace be with you. But he says, my peace I give unto you. And so, I hope we're feeling at peace instead of stressed or worried or burdened, because we all know, as Pastor said, how much the world needs lasting peace. And so God has showed us how to achieve it. And so I hope you're ready for this message, which was inspired by my fiancé's mother, Linda Tolman, and my fiancé's sons, Landon and Taylor, who helped me today. And I believe with all my heart are both ministers in training, praise God. <laughs> you know, but God has some exciting stuff planned for us tonight. So get ready for his word to renew your mind, be written on the tablet of your heart, and give you hope for a lasting peace. Amen. Praise God. So God waits on us. You know, <laughs> he showed me the reason we have to wait on Jesus is because he always has to wait on us to make the changes in our lives that are necessary to make us ready to receive what he's always willing and able to give us. And so the opening words to the song, Won't Stop Now, which I sent to some of y'all this morning, they go like this. I give you glory for all you brought me through. And now I'm ready for whatever you want to do. And so he's got to bring us through some stuff, folks, before we're ready what he wants to do so I hope are you truly ready are you truly ready or is God still waiting for you to change I thank him for his long patience towards me while I continue to be renewed by his word and make the changes he needs me to make every single day so I can be profitable and blessed and most importantly a good representative of Jesus Christ so James chapter 5 verse 7 from the authorized King James Version, says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. He's coming. We just got to wait. We got to be patient. Behold, the husbandman, which is the father, we talked about a couple weeks ago, he waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth. That's us. He's waiting on us. He has long patience for us, for it, until he receives the early and the latter rain. Okay? And we talked about the early and the latter rain. That's the blessings we get when we follow him on earth. The latter rain's the blessings we get in heaven. And Taylor said, you know, when we act in faith, we build up those treasures. The treasures are built by our faith, by exercising our faith. Anything that is not of faith is sin. It says in Romans chapter 14, the last verse. 
so we've got to do everything in faith. Praise God. And so he waits on, he's still waiting on us. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore will he be exalted that he may have mercy on us. For the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are all they that wait for him. So God's perfect in every way. He's able to answer all of your prayers instantly and at once. But he loves us so much that he waits for the perfect time to answer our prayers so that we experience maximum blessing. Because he's a God of judgment. Every time we have to wait on answer prayers, it's because we have to first make a change so that getting the answer to our prayer doesn't hurt us or prevent us from experiencing God's best for us. We've got to live in God's best. And to do that, sometimes we've got to change, folks. But he's always merciful and gracious. He always has the best plan. He always gets the glory. But when, when we wait on him, what does it say happen? Happens every time when we wait on him. We get maximum blessing. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Praise God. So here's the scripture for the month. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. That's Jesus. You saw the cross. He's given you peace. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. We're to fear nothing but God. They could bomb us all day, but they're not taking us to hell. Only God can do that when we don't choose His way. Okay, so don't let your heart be troubled. Jesus does not give us peace the way the world does. We'll all find out a little more about it if you just stay with me. All right, God has a fun-filled and informative evening planned for you. I hope you're encouraged, exhorted, and that you feel truly loved and cherished by God and by me and by every member of a Fountain of Life Worship Center. We're here to love each other. Praise God. So, so tonight we're going to have a sing-along. And we're going to have an adventure story. And we're going to have a personal story, which I might get a little bit embarrassed about. <laughs> and then some pictures, because pictures say a thousand words. And then if you all want, you can contact me offline. I'll give you an honest word, a little follow-up. I've already sent it to some of y'all. All right, so part one, a sing-along. All right, so this is a song God gave me a long time ago. And some of you have heard it already. I know the kids have heard it. Jackie's heard it. It's called Praise the Lord. He wrote it. I just took dictation. And so it's very simple. This is the chorus. It goes, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. We will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Praise Him in the storm. Praise Him in the fire. Praise Him all the time. He's our one desire. You're His holy child. He'll never leave you. Through Lord Jesus Christ, all things we can do, we will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Now we will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Seek his kingdom first. Don't put trust in man. Seek his righteousness. Lift up holy hands. In him place your trust. On him cast your cares. Take on you his yoke. All your burdens share. We will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Now we will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Clap along, yeah. All right, so we got some more. What? Oh. oh, this is the most important part. Persecutions come. Peacefully rejoice. There God's proven sign. You made the right choice. Follow him today. He will speak to you. Jesus Christ, obey. You will know the truth. You will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. We will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Seek and find the Lord. He will make you free. With your tongue confess him obediently. Living sacrifice. 
prove his holy will. Know that he is Lord. He said, peace be still. He will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Now we will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Watch his kingdom come. Soon he will return. Devil and the beast in the lake will burn. We will celebrate marriage to the Lamb. We are all a part of his perfect plan. We will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Now we will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Amen. So, we got to praise the Lord all the time. And so, hey, I hope you're ready for an adventure story. And you know what I found? Is the best adventures are the ones that Jesus leads. <laughs> Praise God. So, we got an adventure here, you know? And, you know, like I said, Taylor and Landon, they inspired this part. We were discussing how last month I reminded everyone, we choose to be a servant or a ruler, you know, and they said, it's like we're all boarding a ship. And the captain asks each one of us, would you rather work as a slave on my ship or be the captain of your own ship. I told them I would use the less offensive word servant, but instead of slave, you know, because, well, you know, pirates, they always make their prisoners into slaves. <laughs> and so I thought it would be fun to think of Jesus as the pirate captain leading us on a high seas adventure each and every day as we take more and more treasure away from every single enemy of God. Praise God. So. Hope you enjoy as much as I have what God shared with me while the boys were in school today, ch uh, cherishing their classmates and their teachers. Praise God. And so, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 starts, On the same day, when the evening was come, Jesus, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish <laughs> wow so what did they do first they sent away the multitude we each have a multitude that we need to send away before we're ready to sail with Jesus the head pirate Habits, addictions, idols, rituals, false religions and doctrines and beliefs, and anything that prevents us from knowing God. Because, see, 1 Corinthians 8, I was going to open with this, but God just had us get going so fast. 1 Corinthians 8 says, We all know that we have knowledge, but knowledge puffeth up. Charity or love builds up right so we're to love not know and, and brag and if any man think that he knoweth anything he knoweth nothing yet as he ought to know but if any man love God the same is known of him the same is God and so God is known of them that love him them that love God know God and so we're to know God right Anything that keeps you from knowing God is a multitude. You need to send that away so you can go on the adventure. Go sailing with the pirate Jesus. So anyway, send your multitude away. Notice there were with him other little ships. Little ships don't survive the storm, folks. Little ships don't make it to the other side, folks, to the promised land. And like Landon said, a captain always goes down with his ship. So don't go down with your ship. Get to the other side with Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. And so, there arose, a, this next part is, uh, let's see, I'm going the wrong way here. Can you go, Joseph, to the next one? Yeah, this, we got to go to the next one. Oh, wait a second. No, we don't. So, we got to praise the Lord again. Yeah, see? All right, we got to do this. Persecutions come, peacefully rejoice. There God's proven sign, you made the right choice. Follow him today, he will speak to you. 
Jesus Christ obey. You will know the truth. You will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. We will praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. So that's what we do when the Persians come, persecutions come. We praise them. We rejoice. So the story continues. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. That's coming, folks, a great calm. After the war's over. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? <laughs> He's God. <laughs> so the, the wind will always arise, because the devil loves to stick his nose into things and places where he has no business. He accuses the brethren day and night, and he's as a roaring lion. But thank God, Jesus is the Lion of Judah. And the Lion of Judah has teeth that bite the devil's roaring little head right off every time it arises, okay? So notice that the wind ceased. So when we ask Jesus to rebuke the enemy, he causes the devil's lies to cease blowing into our lives. And when the lies are silenced, the people and the things which were being influenced by the lies stop beating against the ship and create peace. So the waves, those are like those are the victims of the devil in, in your life, the people that are being influenced. They're just waves beating against the ship. So you gotta love them, you know? Love them so they don't believe the lies anymore. So they can stop beating against the ship and jump into the ship survive we'll get to the other side instead of going down with their own ship praise God so the key to achieving peace is to depend on Jesus to command the lies of the devil to be silenced so let us all pray for the lies that are causing our world to be in turmoil and so Jesus rebuked the lie of gender choice rebuked the lie of marriage between anything but a man and a woman but rebuke the lie of female combat soldiers. Rebuke the lie that abortion is a human right. Rebuke the lie that Ukraine is part of Russia. Rebuke the lie that we need anything besides you, Jesus, to achieve perfect health, to achieve perfect fitness, to achieve perfect peace and joy and love and blessings and all the good stuff that he's got for us. Praise God. So, you know, yeah. Praise God. You know, nothing's impossible for God. You know, he's going to rescue us from all the storms that beat against the ship in order to get us ready to follow him into more and more and more and more truth. That's, that's what it's all about, folks, knowing God. He's the truth. So he wants us to know him. So here's the part, you know, I told you about. I'm going to be a little bit embarrassed, you know, to tell you a personal story about peace. You know, so I recently had to be chastised by Jesus, you know. I made him angry, you know. Fortunately, I took my licks like a man. I was able to stop believing lies that the devil planted in my head. They were causing me to be a poor representative of Jesus, you know. And I was flying off the handle instead of going in a straight line. You know, just today I was talking about this with the boys. You know, we're all to be true yoke fellows. We bear the yoke. His yoke is easy. It's the easiest yoke there is. It keeps us going straight. You know, we're to remain yoked to the Word of God and help each other remain yoked to the Word of God. And so the Word is our yoke that keeps us connected to Jesus, moving in a straight line along the path of righteousness that He lays out before us. King David said it the best. He said, Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalm 119 is awesome, folks. And so, you know, when we decide to captain our own ships, the own ship, it always sinks. You know, always, always sinks. And when we become and remain servants on Jesus' ship, we pass with him in his ship to the other side. So here's my personal story. For a long time, I've been captain of my own ship when it comes to the written word of God. You know, I used to believe that the, the lie that the, only the authorized King James Bible was totally accurate. And so should be the only one preached and read and studied. You know, but God helped me know the truth. So I could be truly free to use anything, anything, but especially love demonstrated towards others. 
to help people get to know how good and how wonderful and powerful and loving and kind and gentle and Jesus truly is. We got to know that and experience that so we can share with everybody else. Everybody's got a personal testimony. And so, you know, it's up to us to show how he and help others feel how he truly cherishes each and every one of us. And there's no limit to what he can do and no limit to what he can use to draw someone to him. So, you know, I've reached the other side of freedom, thanks to my Lord and Savior, and thanks to the patience of the pastor and the other people in my life who truly cherish me, just like I cherish you guys. So, you know, we're going to we got to remain servants to Jesus by having the Word of God written upon the tablet of our hearts. You know, Ta Taylor said, the Word of God is our yoke, and we build the great ship of Jesus with our faith. What we build with faith is what we get to keep. You know, everything else just falls away like this the house built on the sand. You know, we got to build, build our house like Jose said last week on the rock of Jesus Christ. And so, you know, I can't go into too much detail, but I got another personal story about peace and how obedience brings peace. You know, obedience to the Word of God brings peace. It's better to obey than sacrifice. You know, Saul, you know, he, he tried, he didn't learn that lesson, but knowledge puffs up, but love builds up, and so we have to love, we have to love the Word of God so we can get it into our hearts. And when we do, when we truly love God's Word and memorize it and meditate on it all day long, even our enemies make peace with us. That's what the Bible says. And so I can't go into too much detail, but Landon and Taylor, they both started waking up every morning with the Word of God in their hearts and in their mouths, which then caused it to be in their minds all day long. Praise God. And so after a week or two of doing this, they started to witness miracles. We all did. Praise God. And so Jackie, me, the boys, all of us, as long as we were speaking and meditating on the Word of God, we saw miracles. And you will too. And there will be a breakthrough. And so the song continues. It, it goes like this. And sing along. You guys know it. You've heard it here so many times. I know breakthrough is coming by faith. I see a miracle. My God made me a promise and I won't stop now. I know breakthrough is coming by faith. I see a miracle. My God made me a promise and it won't stop now. Amen. Breakthrough's coming. So, hey, I promise you all some pictures. Because pictures say a thousand words. Praise God. And so here we go. Look at that. Isn't that peaceful? It's going to be great in heaven. No more war. No more evil. No more sickness. You know? No more persecution. No more tribulation. He will keep in perfect peace. God keeps us in peace. Peace comes from God. It comes from Jesus. He will keep in perfect peace all those who trust in Him whose thoughts turn often to the Lord. And I think we have to turn our thoughts to Him all the time. The Bible says pray without ceasing. So that's what we got to do, folks. And those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, this is Paul writing. Do. Do what you've learned. Do what you've received from God. What you hear from Him, do it. He's going to speak to you all day long. If you just listen, just listen to Him. And the God of peace shall be with you. The God of peace shall be with you. So peace be with you when God is with you. Amen. Let's all stand, folks. Praise the Lord again. <laughs>